To make these bracelets, you're going to need some supplies that you probably already have at home. A clipboard, you can also use some tape to secure the end of your bracelet, but I think the clipboard is just easier to use, so if you have one laying around, that's what I would do. You'll need some scissors to cut your string. You may need some Elmer's glue or other kinds of clear drying glue, and this is just to secure the knot on the sliding knot bracelets that we're going to make, like this one here, where you can adjust the size of it. And putting some glue on it will just make it a little more secure if you want to do that. And you're also going to need some embroidery floss. I'm going to put a link down below to this set that I got for $10 on Amazon. It didn't come with the little um, bobbins. I had to wrap them all myself and it didn't come with the box. It just came with all the string. But it has like 135 colors or something and I think it's a pretty good deal for $10 so I'll leave it down below. It's not sponsored or anything but if you're interested in getting that you can check that out. I also will um, say that I've used yarn before or any other kinds of colored string that you have laying around. You can really do this with anything. It'll just affect the look of your finished brace. So the first bracelet we're going to make is a candy stripe bracelet like the one I have here. I'm not sure if it's in focus or not. And we're just going to do, instead of having a loop and long ties at the end, we're going to do it like this bracelet here and have a sliding adjustable knot so that you can take the bracelet on and off and adjust the size as you want to. So this kind of knot on this type of bracelet. And this is one of the simplest friendship bracelets to make and teaches you a basic knot that we can use in all the other patterns I'll be showing you today. So let's get started. So the first step is to select the colors for your bracelet. These here are the colors I'm going to be using for this one. So I believe this is seven colors. And just the more colors that you choose, the thicker your bracelet's going to be. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to be going from green to a brown and then back to a blue color in a gradient kind of like this. So, as I said, you can pick as many colors as you want. You can do as little as three colors or as many as you want, really, like a hundred if you were feeling ambitious. But the more colors you pick, the thicker your bracelet's going to be across and the longer it's going to take. So just keep that in mind. I think six or seven is a good place to start to get a good looking bracelet. The first thing you're going to do is cut your thread. And it's better to have too long of threads than too short of threads. So I'm going to cut about a wingspan's length, which is about my height of each of these colors. If you have a little less than that, it's probably okay. But if you're using thicker string like yarn, um, you might want to cut a little more because your knots are going to use up more string per knot. Okay, so now I have my strings cut. The other end of them is way down on the floor below me. And what I'm going to do is first create one end of my adjustable knot that are going, that's going to be the end of this bracelet. So I'm going to line up my ends as close as I can. If they're not perfect, it's okay. And I'm going to go about an inch down on my bracelet or about two centimeters. Then I'm going to tie a simple knot. I'll show you very slowly so you've got it flat in front of you. Then you're going to fold it over like this so you have a loop and then pull the end through. And I'm going to slide that up towards the end and this is going to make sure that our adjustable piece that will add at the very end doesn't slide off. And now I'm going to cut that but not too close and then eventually when I get my glue out at the end I'll probably put some glue on this knot just to make it a little more secure. All right, now we're going to do part of a braid and this will become part of our adjustable knot. So I'm going to clip that on my clipboard or tape it to your table. If you're taping it, you might not want to cut that piece off because it'll be easier to tape down. And since I have seven colors, I'm going to separate this into two groups of two and one group of three so that I have three pieces to braid with. And this is just a simple braid. I'm assuming you know how to do it, but if not, I'll show you. Um, I'm not sure if I said this already, but I did switch out that tan color that I had before for a gray color in this bracelet, just because I thought it looked better when I was lining up the threads to cut. Now, the beginning of your bracelet is always the most difficult to keep your threads straight at, and that's just because um, they're so long at this point that they're going to tangle a little bit, but they're not going to tangle too badly, and you can usually just smooth it out pretty quickly. So I'm going to create maybe four inches of a braid here, and I'm going to make it a pretty tight braid. This is a little bit annoying to do because you're going to have to keep pulling your long threads through, but it's worth it to have that adjustable knot, in my opinion. 
Okay, so as you can see here, I have maybe three or four inches of braid. And now I'm going to tie another knot, just like we did before, but with this end of my string. And I'm going to position it right at the end of that braid. And this is the part where we're going to start our bracelet. So, you can see I've got this long braid here, and if you remember, that's going to be one of these braids on the end of our bracelet once we add the adjustable knot. So, I'm going to slide this up, and I'm going to clip it up here on my clipboard, right above that knot, so I have a place to start. Now, the first step is to get your threads into order. So, since I'm going from a dark blue to a light blue, I'm going to put my darkest blue thread on the outside, then my middle blue, and finally, oops, this one is my very darkest blue. So I've got my very darkest blue on the very outside here, then my middle blue, then my lighter blue, and next we have my gray color, and then the lightest green, the middle green, and the darkest green. And it doesn't matter what colors you're using, of course, use your creativity and pick whatever colors you want, but you just want to put them in the order you want in your bracelet. And it's okay if it's not kind of the order that they're in in this knot, because they're going to straighten themselves out eventually. Okay, now we're going to begin our bracelet. So I'm going to take my very leftmost string, so the string that, in my case, is my dark blue, and I'm going to tie a knot on this string, which is the next string to the left. So to do that, I'm going to take my farthest string to the left and make a four shape over this string. So it makes kind of this triangle with the thread going off this way. And now I'm going to lift up this string, that's my second string from the left, and pull the tail through. And I'm going to pull that super tight up here. Now I'm going to repeat that step again, creating a four shape and pulling the tail through. Now I've just made two knots onto that second string, which is now my leftmost string, and this one has taken its spot. So what that kind of knot is called is a forward knot. You can also create a backwards knot, which we'll use in the next bracelet, but for this bracelet you only need to know that one kind of knot. And it's important to remember that every time you tie one of those knots, you're actually going to be tying two knots that create the forward knot. So I'll show you again here. So now I have my lightest blue string and my darkest blue string, which was formerly the string that was the farthest to the left and the string I started with. So this is the same string that I tied knots with before. I'm going to create that four shape and pull it through the hole that's created. I'm going to pull it super tight. It's important to pull it really tight and during your bracelet you might want to adjust your clipboard so that you're working closer to the metal and pull your bracelet through as you go or adjust your piece of tape because that will help you get your knots tighter and make your bracelet look neater. I'm going to create the four shape again and pull it through. So now I've created two knots and those no knots together are called a forward knot. So every time I say a forward knot I actually mean two knots. Now I'm on to my gray string and I'm going to make another forward knot. And now my light green. And all these knots are still being made with the same dark blue string that we started with. You're going to go row by row. And this bracelet is pretty easy to create, so once you've got the hang of it, you'll be able to make it very quickly. Now I'm on to my middle green. And it's okay if the threads up here towards the top look like they're getting a little bit tangled at this point or aren't laying flat, I guess. But once we get a few rows in, it'll lay flat and you'll be able to see your bracelet start to create. So I'm going to keep working in real time until we get to that point and then I'm going to shut off the camera and finish my bracelet and then I'll come back to show you how to do the very end and the other part of our adjustable knot. So now I've done all six of these strings with this blue string, and that has become my rightmost string. So now I need to slide them over. Eventually you won't need to have them spread out like that anymore, because you can see now they're already starting to separate. Now my new leftmost string is my middle blue. So I'm going to repeat that same step on all these strings. So I'm doing a forward knot onto my lighter blue with the middle blue now. So there's my two knots. And now onto my gray string, I'm using that same middle blue which has now moved over. Mm -hmm. 
So there's my second row of knots. And I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera, but now I have two rows and a hair apparently. There we go, two rows. So I'm going to do one more on camera and then I'm going to keep making the bracelet and come back when I've finished it. So now I'm making knots with my lighter blue string onto my gray string. All right, so now I've done three rows of my bracelet and they're all in that nice blue color. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by moving your bracelet up so that it's easier to make your knots tighter. You can clip it like that now and keep sliding it forward so that you're working close to this metal piece or to your piece of tape and that will allow you to pull your knot super tight and get a nice straight edge on your bracelet and neater knots. So I'm going to keep working on this bracelet until from this knot after the adjustable knot piece after the braid lines up with the end of my bracelet so that it goes all the way around my wrist. I'm going to show you what I mean with this candy stripe that I made previously. This one does not have the adjustable knot, but if this was the knot right here that starts our real bracelet, and then this is the very end of my bracelet, I'm going to make it until those two pieces meet around my wrist. And you can make it bigger or smaller, you can make an anklet, you can do whatever you'd like, but that's just what I'm going to do. So I'm going to finish that and then I'll come back to show you how to complete your bracelet. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, I have finished my bracelet. I have a lot of leftover string and I'm probably going to edit in a little card that says how much you actually need because an arm's length is a little too much for this. But it's better to have more than you need than not enough in my opinion. So I've made this long enough to go around my wrist, like you can see here. And now I'm going to clip it on my clipboard and I'm going to tie another knot, just like I did at the beginning of it, just to make it symmetrical. It's already secure, but I just want to tie it off just to make myself feel better and to make the other end match. And this bracelet actually didn't take me very long to do. This is a pretty quick bracelet in the whole scheme of friendship bracelet making. Alright, now that I've had that knot there, I'm going to separate my strings out again into a group of three and two groups of two and I'm just going to braid just like I did before until it's about the same length as this braid. Once my braids are about the same length I'm going to tie another knot just the same way as I did before at the bottom. Now that I have that end tied off I'm going to trim it just like I did at the beginning And now it's time to make our knot adjustable. And I realize these aren't quite the same length, but that's okay. So to make your knot adjustable, you're going to take your bracelet and you're going to stack your two braids on top of each other. They're not going to want to stay like that because they're so thin, but it's okay. And now we're going to stack them so that your bracelet is a circle. And then I'm going to clip it right on my clipboard, right on top of both the strings. So it looks something like that. Now I'm going to take one of my leftover strings and I'm going to use it to create my knot, um, my square knot. So I'm going to put it under and then I'm going to make a simple knot just like this. Pull that super tight and then I'm going to make a four and make a forward knot just like we did before with this string that's on my left. I'm going to pull that up really close to that knot we just did and then now I'm going to take the string that's on the right and I'm going to make a loop like this and pull it through. So that's called a backwards knot and we'll use that in later tutorials. Now that it's secure, I'm going to push it together and make sure it's tied really tight. And I'm going to flip my bracelet over so that I can secure the bottom. And the bottom is going to be secured by just a double knot, just a simple double knot. So I'm going to take these two strings, 
untie them once and then tie them again just to make sure that it's secure. I'm going to pull that really super tight. And now I'm going to trim those strings and there you go. Now you have an adjustable knot. And it's going to take a second to loosen up but you don't want to make it too loose or else it'll loosen too much and it won't stay secured. So you can just pull it through like you would on a Pura Vita bracelet or one of those other adjustable knot bracelets. And you can adjust this to fit as an anklet or a bracelet or you can take it on and off so that you don't have to tie it like a regular friendship bracelet. So that's the first bracelet and I'm going to be making other tutorials on bracelets such as this heart bracelet and other bracelets like a chevron and some other designs. So stick around if you want to see those. And I hope you guys had a super fun time making your bracelets. Let me know how yours turned out in the comments down below. And I can't wait to hear from you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!